It's Wednesday, the 14th of April, and welcome to The Breakfast Show. I'm your host, Mark Anthony, and my apologies that the news headlines are missing today, but the gremlins got in. Um, and you'll also have to forgive me if I look a little bit bleary-eyed. It feels like just a few hours ago that I co-hosted a huge 80-minute min- live stream show to help unveil the latest additions to the JCB product range. But more of that in a moment. Uh, first, let's take a, a look at those all-important celebrity birthdays. It's many happy returns to actors Robert Carlyle and Adrian Brody, and uh, many happy returns also to a baseball legend, Pete Rose. Funnily enough, I met uh, uh, Pete briefly in Las Vegas last year when he was doing a meet and greet session at the MGM Grand Hotel. Unfortunately, being English, I had no idea who he was. Then again, he didn't know who who I was either, so that probably makes us even. And a very happy birthday also to a Shorts group, head honcho Gary Short, who is anything but short. The guy's about 11 foot tall. Uh, but that's a whole other story. We'll be right back after this. If you enjoyed this show, please consider supporting us. Go to buymeacoffee.com forward slash demolition news. Now, we're just beginning to emerge from a global pandemic that placed JCB factories around the world into an enforced lockdown. So what has the company been doing with all that time on its hands? Well, the factories may have been quiet, but it was apparently full steam ahead for the R&D department, at least if yesterday was anything to go by. The company launched a staggering 45 new or improved new products yesterday, all of them featuring, or most of them featuring, new Stage 5 compliant diesel engines. The new machines included new X-series excavators, new loaders, new generators, together with the stars of the show, a range of new pro backhoe loaders and a number of new mini excavators to compete in the 3.5 and 5 tonne class. Let's take a look. Now, all those machines were the subject of an extended live stream show, 80 minutes, I think it was, um, that I hosted last night alongside my uh, my Construction Collective co-founder, Peter Haddock. Uh, We're also joined by three product specialists from JCB. Uh, They fielded our questions and answered a good many from the audience, too. The recording of that show is available on the Facebook pages of both Demolition News and of Diggers and Dozers, and you can also find a link to it on the Diggers and Dozers YouTube channel as well. Um, You can find that link in the show notes or just go and search on uh, YouTube for Diggers and Dozers. Now, the directors of a Nottingham-based demolition company the gremlins are really in today yeah the directors of a nottingham based demolition company have earned praise from commercial property specialists for the ongoing creation of a new industrial development close to the company's hucknell headquarters milvig cross mark cross gary cross and richard nixon all directors at total reclaims demolition are creating a a selection of high caliber industrial units on what will be known as wyburn business park Sonny Lander, Director at Commercial Property Specialist NG Chartered Surveyors, has been astonished by the response despite the ongoing pandemic. He said, Melvin, Mark, Gary and Richard should be congratulated for creating such versatile, high-spec industrial units in this area. The fact that they are being let shows that business confidence is still high despite the challenges of the last 12 months. We have secured tenants for three of the nine units in phase one and have firm interest in a fourth, despite only bringing them to market a week ago. The new Wyburn Business Park project is set to be delivered in two phases, apparently. Uh, Phase one will provide nine units each, uh, each with a footprint. Let me try that again. Each with a footprint of around 2,000 square feet. And phase two will see the addition of another nine similarly sized units. 
You can read more about that over on demolitionnews.com where you posted that story just a few moments ago. And finally for today, the countdown is underway. Tomorrow we'll see the long-awaited launch of the new G-Series range of wheel loaders from global construction equipment giant Case. And I'm delighted to tell you that Case has selected the Construction Collective to help spread the word about these exciting new products. Before we get into the details, let's take a look at this. So tomorrow morning, Case will host a massive virtual, virtual event to show the new machines to the world. You can register for the event yourself, actually, uh, using the link in the description below. Then, just a few hours later, myself and Peter Haddock of Content the Media will present an exclusive live show to mark this important event and to look at the new products in greater detail. We will be joined by a pair of specialists from Case who will be on hand to answer your questions, uh, technical and less so. Um, that will probably be my questions, actually. Now, I spoke to the case team just a few moments ago, and this really does promise to be a great show. Uh, I know we've hosted similar shows with the likes of Bobcat, Hitachi, Komatsu and Liebherr, and obviously last night with JCB. But this will be our first time working alongside Case, so I'm really looking forward to this one, hence the reason I'm sporting the hat. Um, I, I'm also delighted the fact that um, another global brand has recognised and embraced what we're doing with these live video shows. Uh, they were started out of necessity when the lockdown began, but they these shows have grown to become a hugely popular feature of, uh, of the industry. So, as I say, be here tomorrow at 6pm as we lift the curtain on these new uh, important case new wheel, load, uh, wheel loaders uh, but also use the link in the description below um, to sign up for the event itself it's going to be a good one uh, I think that just about wraps up the show today uh, funnily enough my next job this morning is to jump onto a zoom call to discuss yet another of these live product launches so watch this space uh, I'll be back here again at 10 a.m tomorrow for another breakfast show hopefully with the headlines this time uh, and then I'll go on to drink my body weight in Red Bull to prepare for the case launch so until then have a great day stay safe and I will see you on the morrow have a good one